This is a headstone for my baby, Emma May. Every day, Heather Wilson sees a reminder of the life that might have been. It was gifted to me from my friend Linda on the 25th anniversary of her passing of my abortion. A child she said she mourned for years before naming her with the help of SOAR, spiritually oriented abortion recovery. I always tell people this is not a cure all, but it will get you well on your way. Michelle Montgomery works with SOAR and shares her own abortion story. Pregnant at 15, had my abortion at 15 and spiraled. Michelle says her mom drove her to the clinic, but having the abortion was her choice. When do you think you realized you regretted your decision to have an abortion? When I first walked out of the abortion clinic, I had such an empty feeling. I don't know if I've ever felt that empty in my life. So I don't know even if at that time it was regret because I turned that off. Heather was shocked when she first heard Michelle tell her story, but that's the point of SOAR. The goal is to get people to face their abortion and seek healing through a five week Bible study. Heather now volunteers for the group and feels comfortable sharing she got pregnant at 17 with her high school boyfriend. I told him and he immediately wanted me to have an abortion. I remember running out of the room crying and I could hear him laughing with his buddy that they that he would push me down the stairs or kick me in the stomach and I still didn't realize you know how badly he treated me she waited until she turned 18 to actually have the abortion so she didn't have to tell her parents I had an ultrasound but they turned the volume down so I couldn't hear the heartbeat and they turned it around so I couldn't see anything. Almost like they took that choice away. 25 years ago, Heather says the clinic didn't tell her what was happening or give her different options. If abortion wasn't so easy to get, you can call, have your abortion, boom, 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 and not have time to process or think about this decision that we cannot undo. Today in Indiana, the process is slower. Patients undergo counseling, a waiting period, and must receive an ultrasound with the option to view the image before their abortion. Still, you would want an all out ban without exceptions? I don't think it is an answer, Sierra. To the women who say that's taking away their choice to be able to do what's right for their family, what do you say? Why, why do you have to kill the baby for it to be right for your family? Why can't you place the baby for adoption? There are so many safe haven boxes and different choices. They blame struggles with depression, anger, and substance abuse on having an abortion, but say SOAR helped them heal. Now Heather has three children. And they all know that they have a sister in heaven. She's been an adoptive mother, a foster mother. After years of trying, she became a biological mother again when she came to grips with her abortion. It is a great way of honoring her.